Ever since the last two to three months, the amount of A triple eights that I've driven is just crazy. I've driven at least over 20 cars with different body styles, different setups, different configurations, everything from an APR DTR 245, all wheel drive VRS 245. Porsche Macan Stage 2 with the 2 litre TSI and apart from the VRS 600 probably this has to be one of the most interesting builds that I've come across. This over here is a VW Vento but underneath the hood it packs a 2 litre TSI. So before we pop the hood let's just quickly talk about how the build started and how the car was when Wagmaster Chennai actually took the car up as a project. Well, this is actually a super super old Vento. I think so it's a 2010 if I'm not wrong. Anyways, it was a 1.6 MPI car and it basically had nothing. It didn't, it didn't even have ABS or an airbag. So literally Wagmaster Chennai, N2 Autotech and Venom Performance India have built this thing from the ground up. Everything including the bumpers which are now uh, updated, especially the back bumper which is from I guess a 2019 series Vento. The front bumper has also been uh, retrofitted. It has some side skirts going on. It has these Lenzo wheels. Uh, the brakes have also been upgraded. You get 312 mm uh, brakes up front which are ventilated discs. You also get some bigger discs at the rear. In fact, it has a disc conversion at the rear done. Uh, the car has been completely blacked out. It looks super stealthy. You get the Golf GTI style headlights up front. Uh, it has been lowered and it has got new suspension from the likes of Bilstein and its B12 suspension setup so it rides lower, it's a little bit stiffer on the road and overall, yeah, you wouldn't really understand what is really going on with this. You would probably wave it off as a normal 1.5 TDI or a 1.6 MPI Vento but once you open up the hood, the madness starts. So now let's talk about what everyone wants to know about and that is what is hiding underneath the hood. Now the hood itself is a little bit different. You get these more aggressive looking vents, not functional at the moment. They will be in the future. And once you open up the hood, like I said in the intro, you find a 2 litre TSI underneath the hood. Now this particular engine is from a Mark 6 Golf, which means it's a EA 888 Gen 2 engine. It's already in a stage 3 setup with a ton of mods. K04 Turbo, Blaze Performance Intercooler, Blaze Performance Air Intake, APR Coils, Downpipe, Full System Custom Exhaust with a Varex, uh, End Can with Valtronic. Uh, the list goes on. It even has a dual radiator fan setup for uh, Christ's sake. And combine all of these things together and this thing currently in its stage 3 tune from Venom Performance uh, produces 340 horsepower and it's restricted to 500 Newton meters of torque. Now the guys at Venom, Wagmaster and N2 are saying that this thing can theoretically do 450 horsepower but they're slowly building up to it to just test the car out and see its limits. Now all of this torque and power can't be run through a normal manual transmission or a DQ200 transmission so it's been swapped with a 6 speed DQ250 transmission. Let's head into the interior because the interior also has a ton of changes. Now hop into the interior and the interior is completely different. I mean, this thing when it came to Wagmaster, it was like I said, a comfort line Vento and everything in the interior, even the seats have been changed. These particular seats are from a superb. They are automatically adjustable. They have memory settings, super nice. You have this GTI style steering wheel with the uh, rev lights over here on the top, carbon fiber finish, super aggressive looking. You have cruise control installed. This is the DQ250 transmission selector. You have park assist, you have the RCD340 traction control. You have this uh, instrument cluster, which is completely different. It's from a Seat Cupra, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, this interior is absolutely amazing. Suede uh, headliner as well, but this car is all about the driving so let's start it up and listen to what it sounds like
let's give it a quick burst of acceleration and let's see how this 2 liter swap 340 bhp went to feel oh my god God, this thing is ballistic. It wheel spins all the way through first, all the way through second, and the most part of third. That's how much torque and power this thing makes. Oh my God! It's still a little bit of a work in progress, you know. These guys over here are working day and night to perfect this thing, and I'm pretty sure once everything is sorted, once the owner has done everything that he wants, that this thing is going to be absolutely amazing. So this thing, I mean, I'm just blown away. The Vento Polo chassis with these bigger engines, I mean, the power to weight makes such a big difference in the Octavias and everything. You do feel it, but this smaller body and everything. Oh my god! And the intake noise, the exhaust, it is a visceral raw experience. And even the power, it's so raw. Since this being a Gen 2 engine, it just feels, it just feels that tiny bit different, tiny bit. It feels more raw compared to a Gen 3 engine. And this Venom Performance Stage 3 ECU and TCU remap, my, I mean, my God, so aggressive, so powerful. Yeah, I can't imagine once this thing is on a 450 bhp map how this thing is going to feel i mean even right now with just not just i mean this is insane amount of power for a vento with just 340 horsepower this thing feels ridiculously fast ridiculous and it's still not at its limit I mean, yeah, this thing is just a wild, wild build. And I have driven the 400 BHP Polo from Nick Trans and that also was just ridiculous. But I mean, there is more drama when it comes to just having front wheel drive. That thing felt hunkered down, it felt planted, it felt like a point and shoot vehicle. Whereas this, so much more drama, wheel spin, you, it just puts a big fat smile on your face. But all of this power is nothing that this chassis, this setup cannot handle and moreover, the owner hasn't left any stone unturned. I mean, it has the brakes, it has the suspension. So, you're not scared of pushing it to the limit. And it is so fast! Oh my God! And the gearbox is so responsive because of the TCU map. The engine throttle response is so, it's like lightning. This feels so raw. It feels like a proper thoroughbred sports car, I would like to say. That's how good this thing is. <laughs> oh my God! So fast! Oh my god! In and the thing is, this is fun. The VRS 600 felt. I mean, I was just shit scared in that thing. That's how fast it was because it had all-wheel drive. It could put all of those 576 or whatever amount of horsepower that thing has. It could just put it down and. Yeah, that thing was just ridiculous. This thing is equally ridiculous, but. In some weird way, it is manageable power. A hats off to Wagmaster and to Autotech Venom Performance for building such a thing. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. As ridiculous as it gets.
yes, I might have a big fat smile on my face, but this grin comes once you give a big fat check to Wagmaster Chennai. Let's start off with the 2 litre TSI engine swap and the stage 3 setup, which includes the turbo, tuned DQ250 gearbox, basically the whole powertrain and drivetrain. That costs an eye watering 16.85 lakh rupees. Now, the suspension setup is sorted with some B12s which cost 85,000 rupees and a much needed upgraded braking system which costs 1.2 lakh rupees. Now, since this is the base model Vento, the ABS traction control, airbags, the superb seats and many other interior comfort equipment and safety equipment combines and comes around for 4.55 lakh rupees. The wheels and tyres come for a cool 1.4 lakhs and the fancy carbon fibre steering wheel comes for 1.8 lakh rupees. The heat management for this car, which is a very essential thing, comes in at 45,000 rupees and is done by Funk Motorsport. And the nice suede upholstery in the interior costs 61,000 rupees. Now, all of the other miscellaneous upgrades like the bumpers, PPF, headlights, and other things that aren't really necessary amount to 2.68 lakh rupees, giving this build a grand total of 31 lakhs 64,000 rupees, excluding the car. Now yes, this might seem ridiculous and many of the things inside the car aren't really needed like the fancy headliner and whatnot. But yes, probably going and buying a VRS directly seems like a much better option but not everyone wants to go down that route. Doing something unique and out of the ordinary is what the tuner community is about and nothing showcases that better than this amazing build over here. Now what does all of this amount to? Well, this Vento 2.0-litre TSI swap is capable of doing 0 to 100 kph in 5.5 seconds and can complete the quarter mile in 13.3 seconds and as we mentioned, the car is not running the most powerful map available and in fact the figures that I just mentioned are on a street remap and on 95 round fuel. Moreover, this build isn't some cut piece botched up job. The whole thing was roughly completed 3 to 4 months ago and the owner of the car drove it all the way from Chennai to Hyderabad and completed a hassle free 700 kilometers in it. Thank you for watching this video. A big shout out goes to Wagmaster Chennai, Venom Performance India, Czech Engines and N2 Autotech for making this video possible. This has to be one of the coolest cars we've driven all year and definitely to and definitely do give these guys a follow on Instagram. As for us, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our channel and we will catch you in the next one.